Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have been having a very difficult new year. It's funny because at the end of 2023, I was all like manifestation, positive thinking, everything is gonna work out, I'm gonna change my mindset and everything's gonna work out just like all of these boss babes, just like all of these girls with lucky girl syndrome, I'm gonna be a girl with lucky girl syndrome. Well, so far it's just the first week of January and I'm already not in my lucky girl syndrome era. And today is especially hard, so I just wanted to help my mind reset and figure out ways to calm myself down, to make myself feel happy, to make myself feel loved and feel taken care of. After all, the only person who's ever gonna be there at the end of the day, 100%, is yourself. So if you're having a tough time as well and you need something to get out of that rut, then this video is for you. First step is to watch your favorite series. I don't know about you, but I watch certain shows that are very relaxing but entertaining and funny as well. And they all have like bandwidth. Like for example, Big Bang Theory, Friends. They're more of the happy mood. Things I watch when I want to feel entertained. There are things that are more serious like Marvel series or Sherlock Holmes where there's a little funny to it but it's a little bit more serious and action-packed and has more adrenaline. And so these are reserved for when I have high energy. And there's the calming shows. And my favorite calming show is is Father Brown. I don't know if you've heard of Father Brown, but basically he's a priest who goes around and solves murder in his hometown and it's both light and funny and I know it's a little bit weird because it's crime, but at the same time they present it in such a way that it is very light and there's a very good lesson to learn. And it's very funny as well. I mean, I love Father Brown. My sister loves Father Brown. Sometimes, and I mean all the time, I leave Father Brown playing while I fall asleep and I just set the TV to a timer because it really calms me down and slows me down. So if you have a series that helps your mind calm down, then I suggest go watch it. It just helps your mind refocus on other things other than the problem that you're facing at the moment. Another one related to this is watching funny videos on your social media, but this is a little dangerous because you might end up doom scrolling. Now, I did do a purge on my social media that I talked about in my previous video, which I'll be linking up here if you want to go watch that. And this purge really helped me detoxify my social media as much as I could. And so when I go on social media, I don't feel so sad because I know my triggers. I followed a lot of accounts that had funny videos, funny quotes, that had motivational quotes, motivational videos, and I also like to google like funny cat videos because it helps my mind just laugh at the innocence and simplicity and funniness of the video. But again, don't do this if you didn't do a purge on your social media yet because whatever you see that might be triggering to you and triggering your anxiety and your feelings of not being good enough, that might still be present and it would not be a good idea to go on social media at this time. My next tip is letting the energy out. I remember in the Philippines, I had a very, very unfortunate occurrence happen to me and it was something that actually led me to almost a depression state. And in the Philippines, therapy wasn't popular, like it was too expensive and nobody went to therapy because it was taboo. Looking back at it, I was depressed. I lost a lot of weight. I didn't feel hunger at all. I didn't feel happiness. I didn't feel sadness. I just didn't feel anything. But I digress. When that news came, all I wanted to do was let the energy out. So I just kept walking and walking and walking. I walked for probably 30 minutes, going nowhere. Found myself in a little restaurant, ordered myself one drink, just one, and then realized my friend's place was around the corner. So I called her up, asked her if I could come over, and walked to her place. There I just cried. Crying really, really helps because it's also a form of letting your energy out. She had a lot of kittens at this time and they surrounded me wondering probably why I was so sad and that really helped. Animal therapy I think also really helped so if you have a pet maybe hug them for a little while. So in my case now since my friend is all the way in the Philippines I don't really have a lot of friends here that I can call when I'm feeling really really sad. So what do I do? I go to the gym. I know the gym is not the funnest place to be but it really helps you remove that extra energy that you're feeling and just exhaust your body so that it will become calm. I went to the gym today for like 30 minutes and it really helped. I had a lot of energy because when you feel a certain way, you just have so much energy. It's like an adrenaline rush almost. And I let that energy out in the gym. And then when I came home, I felt calmer, which leads me to my third tip, giving yourself a nice relaxing bath. If you have a bathtub, go grab some bath bombs, 
put some candles on and soak 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 just relax in your bathtub soak in your bubbles and feel the warmth watch your favorite show at this point maybe read a book whatever makes you feel relaxed and pampered and calm at this moment if you don't have a bathtub take a shower i took a nice long shower today and it felt really really good i took my time i didn't rush and i felt really good after it's also symbolic like you're washing away that bad juju that bad energy and you're cleansing yourself which leads me to my fourth tip take yourself shopping or go to your favorite coffee shop take yourself out on a nice date today I went to a mall and I went around and I saw Bath and Body Works has a big sale. So I went and bought myself a bunch of shower gels and moisturizing body washes and lotions. I ended up spending $70, which I kind of regret, but at the same time, I was able to use those in my bath earlier. So it worked out for me. I also treated myself to a nice matcha drink. I love matcha. If you like matcha or if you like coffee, go get yourself your favorite drink. Sometimes it's also nice to surprise your mind maybe buy something that you would never buy yourself like if you never usually buy a vanilla bean frappuccino try it and if you hate it take it with a little bit of humor and just laugh out loud yesterday something very unfortunate happened to me so i was going through the phases but i had to go to work i enjoy work then come lunchtime another bad news came and i was just really really down and my friend had offered to drive me to the bus stop and when i finally got home i realized i didn't have my house keys and my house keys had actually fallen into his car. And during this time, my sister was at work. So that was a very, very unfortunate circumstance that happened to me yesterday. But because of the degree of sadness I had felt earlier that day, this whole key situation was so humorous to me that I found myself laughing. I was just kind of... I don't know, relieved that it wasn't worse. So it's a lot about perspective as well. If something really, really bad happens and then something bad happens again, but it's not as bad as the first thing, find the humor in that. I guess my old self would have cried. My old self would have been so irritated that another thing happened on top of everything else that had happened earlier that day. But since I'm trying to reset my mind and trying to see things from a different perspective, I am. I found myself laughing and that was genuine. And and looking back at it, it was pretty funny. My fifth tip is find solace in being independent and being alone. Don't be afraid to be alone during a hard time in your life. Surround yourself with friends, surround yourself with loved ones, but understand when they leave and when you find yourself alone, you're gonna feel so bad and lonely. And so it is important to grasp the idea that you should find comfort in solace. So today, the first thing I did was I did stuff alone. I went to the mall alone. I went to get my matcha alone. I went to the gym alone. And then I spent time with my sister. We went out shopping. We went to some Filipino restaurants. And I was able to taste some Filipino food that I haven't tasted in so long since I got to Canada. And then I had to drop her over to work. And so I found myself alone again. But I didn't feel lonely because I'm trying to find comfort in my solace. So my sixth and final tip is set the mood. When when you find yourself alone at home or if you have your own room or if you have a space to just relax try to do something different maybe turn on a video of the crackling fireplace and then read something or make your senses smell things make your senses feel things to distract from what you're thinking in your mind so something i found out about myself is fragrance helps me feel certain things and and feel a certain way for example if i want to feel productive and by the way i have a a video on how to be productive and I'll link that up here. I found that if I want to feel productive, there are scents that help me to feel that. Like for example, this fragrance by Guerlain called Aqua Allegoria. I only have the sample because I got this when I shopped at Sephora and at first I didn't like it but I tried to spray it on my skin and throughout the day, I just felt energized for some reason. And it just made me feel like I wanna go and do things. I tried it the next day and I got the same feeling. So it isn't a scent that I would like to wear for a party or for date night, for example, or on the daily. But if I wanna get something going, I put the scent on and I feel energized. Another scent that helps me feel sleepy and relaxed. I do this every single night before I go to bed because it really puts me in that mindset of going to sleep and being relaxed. This is a scent from Clarence. It's called Hugh de Hardin. 
I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. They have a bunch of these scents, but this red one is my favorite. This is not sponsored, by the way. These are just some tips I wanted to share with you. This smell just transports me to a very, very darkly lit room, eucalyptus -y, like a foot massage or a spa. And at the end of my skincare routine, I just spray this on and I just feel like I'm done. I did it. My day is done. I can go to sleep. It really, really helps me put my mind at ease. Now, if you're not big on fragrance, you can also try lighting a candle. You can try lighting some incense, spraying your room, burning some oils, even changing your light, make it blue or red or green. Fairy lights, for example. If fairy lights brings you joy, go grab some fairy lights, turn them on at night. And I think we should start trying new things and see what our body responds to and what we like. There you have it, everybody. This was a short but sweet video. I'd make these videos because I'm going through something right now and I just wanted to share how I deal with them. And if you're also going through something, know that I'm here for you and that you're not alone. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe down below, and ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload. Also, comment down below what you'd like to see in my next videos. If you have any suggestions, tips, and tricks, please don't forget to leave that down below. And my timestamps will be down below in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Bye!